Hello everybody! Today I'm gonna give you a basic beginner tutorial on how to use a Game Guardian to hack games on your Android devices. Game Guardian, of course, is a memory editor that allows you to manipulate the game memory of any app running on your device. Now, before you go and download Game Guardian, by the way, a link for the download will be in the description below. Before you, before you download Game Guardian, two things need to be mentioned. First of all, do not use this on online games willy-nilly. You will get banned. Second, this will usually require a rooted device, especially if you want to hack online games, which most of you probably are, let's be honest. If you want to hack games that do not require an internet connection, you don't necessarily need a root and can use container apps which i'm going to do a tutorial on later that will be the game guardian no root tutorial all right so with all these things being mentioned you of course need to install the apk you do that just like installing any apk i always recommend using an emulator i'm using nox and this is an emulator can easily be rooted at the press of a button as you can see right here so i'm using nox you can use blue stacks as well it's also rootable or mimu or whatever i just find nox to be the most convenient for me personally so the game that we're gonna hack using game guardian of course once game guardian is running you will have this nice little icon at the top left of your screen that you can just press and then connect Game Guardian to the app that you're looking to hack. In my case, obviously, that will be Tiny Miner. By the way, of course, I am doing this on an emulator. However, it works just the same way on an actual phone. I do recommend, as I've said, you using emulators first just to learn, uh, just in case you brick your device. It doesn't cost you money if you're using an emulator. So that's a huge advantage. So. This is Game Guardian. So there are a lot of buttons here and it can be quite confusing. So don't worry about pretty much all of them at this point. Just focus on this icon at the very right of the screen. This is the search icon that allows you to scan for values. Okay? So the value that we're going to try and hack using Game Guardian right now is this one. The money value, of course. What else would we want to hack? So, as you can see, right now, my money in this game is at 777,777. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to tap the search icon at the very right of the screen. And we're just going to enter that value, 777777. Now, important, the value type. Okay, so, if you don't know at all what you're doing, go for auto, okay? Now, most values will be stored as D word, which is what I'm going to be searching for. Then the second most common one would be float. Uh, word is only for very small values. So if you have like a level that goes from like one to a hundred, that might be a word value. Um, and the most intelligent thing to do is just always go for auto if you don't know. In this case, I know and I'm going to cut down the search time a little bit by using D word. Now, Scanning for what this is going to do is going to scan the whole memory of this game So the RAM for this game for this number which will allow us to get the memory slots in our RAM in our emulated RAM in this case That corresponds to our money value which allows us to change it again Don't do this on online games You will get banned because it's impossible to change those values in online games because they're stored on the game servers not on your device okay you can only hack values that are on your device all right with that being said i'm going to scan for this value it's going to take some time so i'm just going to fast forward through this <coughs> oh sorry i'm drinking coke well this is still going on oh this is taking so long on emulator well i guess i may as well plug hackerbot.net so you have probably been looking for mobile game cheats on Google recently. Ugh, and it's a huge pain because, of course, there are a lot of scams out there. 
In fact, there are almost exclusively scams and fake cheats on Google these days, such as unlimited money for online games, which we all know are absolutely 100% Impossible! Ooh! Unlimited coins, unlimited coins, unlimited coins, unlimited coins. The whole first page in Google. Which is why HackerBot.net exists. HackerBot.net is your tool to find legitimate cheats from trusted providers with a proven track record for your Android and iOS mobile games. And any other games, in fact. So how does HackerBot.net work? You just head over to HackerBot. Uh, Googling HackerBot or going to HackerBot.net and then you go for this find free cheats icon right here Now this is a tool all you have to do here is enter the name of your game for example PUBG Mobile the platform that you are playing on for example Android and The current version of the game in this case 019 Point oh. So how do you find out your current version? There's a tutorial underneath the tool and those are all the three things you need to enter. You can now search and you will find legitimate mods, hacks, and even Game Guardian scripts, which is very fitting for the video that we're doing right now. Game Guardian scripts are essentially trainers or pre made hacks that you can import into Game Guardian to use there, which are very similar to modded APKs and mod menus. I'm gonna do a video on those later. So let's get back to waiting since the plug is done oh it's still not done and it's done all right so i have come up with only one value right here okay usually if you're scanning for a lower value you're probably going to come up with a few hundred okay so what you're going to do to narrow down the list is you're going to go into the game you're going to spend some money do whatever you need to do to change the number somehow you're gonna try to pause the game, you're gonna go back into Game Guardian, and then you're gonna go for the search icon again. Alright? And then you're gonna enter the new changed value to refine your list or to narrow down the list of values that you have to find the correct one. So in this case, it will be 777767. Okay? Then we press refine. We have now less values. Imagine more values down here. <laughs> and um, you go back into the game. You spend some money again, or you buy something, or you earn some more money. Go back into Game Guardian. You do the same thing again, okay? And you continue doing that until you have a refined, uh, until you're left with one to two to three values, okay? So this is uh, three, seven, three, and seven refine and you just continue doing that until you have less than five values um, if at some point uh, you cannot refine any further so with other words you are stuck having five values then that means that more than one value corresponds to the value that you're trying to change in the game so once you have one to five values it's time to change them how do you change them? You simply tap them and you enter whatever you want. So I'm going to go for 999,999,999. Yes, there we go. And as you can see, the in-game value has changed and I am able to spend that money. All right. So this is how it works. Just to recap, you scan for the value. You go back into the game, you change the value, then you refine your search by entering the new value, and you do that until you're left with less than five, uh, or until the list of values doesn't get any smaller anymore. So that's essentially how it works. There are also speed hacks that are also pretty simple to use in Game Guardian. What you're doing to activate the speed hacks is you hold the Game Guardian icon tapped and this this number down here will appear. So what you can do here is you can I increase the speed of the game to multiple times of what it usually is. So two would be two times speed. So if I leave the shop, actually it doesn't work on this particular game, but actually it does. As you can see my walking speed, let's just get this up to five, is now faster. So 
However, with most games there is a cap where it doesn't get any faster anymore. You can also slow down, which is very good for games that require um, very, very um, um, quick reaction time. So, it, this doesn't work for every game, the speed hack thing, but it works for a lot of games. There are more advanced options, such as searching for very specific memory addresses and such things. Um, <laughs> Let's, let's not get in, into those right now. Um, those are for a later tutorial. This is a basic tutorial on how to simply look for values and change them. Now, if you're unable to find your money, as I have done here, um, because there's simply not a corresponding value, what you can try and do to, to remedy this is look for another, um, another process that could be corresponding to your game that has the same name as your game there is multiple ones uh, you could also try so let's say your money value let's just go back into the shop real quick let's say your money value is at 10 or 100 let's say 100 okay it's at 100 what you can try if you cannot find this specific value in cheat engine under auto value um, you can add a decimal Point. So another another decimal point. You can add a zero. That is a very simple encryption that some games use. So it, the, the number shows as 100, but it's actually a thousand. If it's a thousand, it's it's actually 10,000 in the memory. So point one is one unit at that point. So that's a very easy encryption. Another encryption is times eight. So the value in game would be a thousand, but in the memory would be eight thousand. That's also another encryption. Uh, another common one is times one hundred. So a thousand would be a hundred thousand in memory. So that's another way you can try and find encrypted values. You could also start a search with an unknown value. This is going to take a long time to do. So what this will do is it will scan all the values in the memory. And then you can you can refine those values, the list of values, on whether a value is increased or decreased or changed or unchanged. So what that's useful for is if you, for example, have a health bar somewhere on your screen, right, and you don't really know, you don't really see a number of your health. Um, what you then can do is scan by decreased. So you take some damage, you know it's decreased. You heal, you know it's increased. Uh, you don't do anything, you know it's unchanged. So that is how you hack values where you don't actually have any actual value that you can see in the game, right? So that's very useful for that. Or if you have an experience bar, but you don't actually see your XP, that's what you can use for that. But this is going to take a long time to do. It's going to take a long time, but you might be able to do it. Um, I have used this on many occasions in, in many different games. I'm not going to show you here because it's going to take so long, so extremely long. But this is another method. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's still pretty basic. Anyways, guys, I'm going to do more advanced tutorials on um, speed hacking, on using scripts and such things on a later date. Also, how to do this without a root. And I will see you guys next time again if you want to find legitimate cheats and um, also uh, mods and, and, and scripts for Game Guardian, visit hackerbot.net, go to our free finder, enter your game and you will find uh, a lot more useful stuff than you will find on Google, that's for sure. You will definitely not get scammed <laughs> because those websites that we are featuring are actually offering legitimate cheats compared to what you're going to find in Google recently. Anyways, guys, thanks you guys for watching. If you want to help me fight the scam and the spams and the human verification awfulness, please give this video a like and I will see you guys next time.